Hello guys, uh, I'm recording this right now real quick on uh, while editing the video I ruined the entire start of the video so this is gonna be a video about how to optimize input latency for Geometry Dash and other programs and your like entire Windows operating system this will give you a massive skill boost and this will provide also more FPS as well uh, but input latency, it's more input latency focused. Um, so yeah, so basically I made a pack, which I put in the description. Uh, you can download it in there. It's a Mediafire, no, it's a Google uh, Cloud Drive thingy download. Um, you can download it there. Um, so yeah, uh, but before that, I want to uh, show you guys the difference between the stock windows and a custom windows operating system so basically here you see the difference between stock so this is stock uh, which has 4.5 milliseconds in DPC latency which is a lot then we have uh, different operating systems such as Fox OS, Kirby OS, Kernel OS, XOS, Atlas OS and Ghost OS which have low latency, like twice as low as, or four times as low as normal Windows, which will give you a massive uh, difference in latency itself. Um, this process will, uh, you will have to um, get an ISO, which you can do via Rufus. Uh, so basically you have Rufus, uh, this is uh, the program. I'll have this in the, thing as well in the pack um, you basically have to have a USB thing a USB device and a ISO image so you get an ISO from the discord servers for example the Fox OS which is a pretty good thing it does have unsupported features which you can read in their discord server I have a whole thing uh, I have their Discord server and website linked in the credits of the pack, which you can see like uh, right here, credits. Uh, these are the links. Uh, if you want to visit their things and get the custom OS operating system, you will have to go through this process. So basically you get the ISO image uh, from like their downloads and then you just download their uh, things their ISO and then you put this in and then you convert the USB device to FAT32 and then just start uh, the conversion and then just wait and then your disk drive should be a uh, partition just boot drive and then you go into the settings so you restart your PC and then you press F2 or delete and you go into the BIOS and from there on I have a video so then you'll see how to do that once you're in the BIOS okay so uh, one more thing uh, if you're gonna get a uh, custom operating system you should use the operating system in a dual boot this means splitting your hard drive or SSD into two partitions I will not go in depth with this I will provide links how to on how to do it in the pack uh, so you can read it out for yourself um, this is because some features and stuff are unsupported, so if you want to even use it, like, don't use it for your daily driver, just use it for, like, geometry dash or something, then just do it on, like, a partition and just create, like, a 20 gigabyte, uh, uh mini storage and just download Windows on there, like, the custom operating system and just play GD on there or something, uh, and that's, that will, like, give you dual boot and which which is very important because then you won't have another like discord no uh, another uh windows thing that just keeps messing up okay so we are in the bios um so just in the bios uh it's just nothing special you um want to go into advanced mode which is somewhere in your settings. I have a gigabyte motherboard, but you might have a different motherboard or something. So you just want to find the advanced mode and then try to locate the boot. 
because in the boot you can select what uh, thing you have. So in the boot you want to uh, select the option on what you want to uh, use to boot with. Uh, so I will wait where okay so I found this thing where it says boot sequence you just want to basically um, for any like um, any um, how do you call it any computer any laptop you just want to select the USB device on the top you just want to have it on, on the top just because that then it'll boot to the thing not to the Windows boot manager because that's your drive and then you will just restart and save and exit, yeah. Okay, now we are just launching and you should see the setup starting. Uh, this can be a Windows 11 starting thing if you're using Fox OS Windows 11 or something, uh, but it should always be kind of the same. Now you will see all of these drives. Um, if you want, you can, I mean, if you're gonna remove your entire Windows, you're gonna lose everything so be aware of that everything is gonna go away but I mean it will give you the lowest latency uh, you can also do a dual boot I won't go into depth how that works but you can just uh, find a video on that on thing uh, on YouTube and just do that that's splitting drives and then having two Windows operating systems um, and yeah, so you want to select the drive, the hard drive or SSD that you have, that you want to have the operating system on. So for me, it's going to be this drive. Um, if you're going to install it on a thing with, uh, on an operating, no. If you're going to install it on a drive that already has Windows on it and you want to remove Windows, you press delete. Be aware if you press delete, it's gone forever. Like everything is gone on that part of the drive. Um, I'm gonna select, select this and then click next and then it should just install. Okay, so now I'm on the new operating system and this is the point where we'll start doing all the optimizations. Um, to get started with all the optimizations, you will have to install uh, Windows which the operating system will provide with or you could just use Edge or something and then download Chrome or something. Uh, that's up to you what you install. The You could just choose what to install and yeah. Um, a quick uh, handy thing is called Nine Uh You can download multiple things here just with one package. Like you can do all of these things and then this thing and then this and then this. And then you scroll down and then you get, get your 99 and then it's like there and then you can just click it and it'll install. So basically uh, what we want to install is WinRAR uh, and just Google. And, and also Steam, also Steam because you also want to play games, of course. Um, so after that you'll go into the description where I've included a pack, just put the map in the, just on the desktop and you'll see this. The credits here are everyone who credit, like has uh, helped me with this and just who provided all of the things. Uh, so yeah, uh, so first of all you're gonna install the GPU drivers because you're probably not having a GPU drivers or something like you don't have them. So first you click the setup thing and then driver install and then you choose an AMD or an NVIDIA. For NVIDIA, no for AMD I don't know what how to install it. Uh, should just be s straightforward like I don't really know. Uh, but you could just get the download page or something and then just download the thing. Uh, and for NVIDIA, I will use a program called NV Clean Install, which you just run and then it'll load and then it'll do this. 
it will detect your hardware if you have an Nvidia graphics card. Just install the best one and then click next. For this, the components you want to install, uh, maybe HD audio via HDMI and Visual C. For the rest, it's more of a uh, optional thing. Uh, you could like get shadow play and stuff, but that will have you will have to have this like GeForce Experience, Telemetry, NV Backend, all of those things, and enabled. So you could choose that, but I wouldn't recommend choosing everything because some things are quite useless, like Shield Wireless Controller. I don't think m most people use that. Uh, just don't choose too much, but don't choose too little. You can just run it without like anything else except like just the first one. Uh, physics is for physics. Uh, it it, it sh like you could just read through this if you want to, uh, and then just click next. Now it should just copy files, and then the installer like you can click install. I'll unpause when that's done. Okay, so when it's done, you should see this. Uh, so for this, you want to disable the first one, second one, third one. So just do this because just follow what I enable. DLSS. If you want to and to have DLSS, you can ena just enable this. Uh, wouldn't recommend it though because it's quite a useless option. I mean, it's frame generation if you play like games that you want more frames. So enable that one if you use DLSS. Don't uh, do that if you don't use it. Like. Don't anyone. Uh, show expert tweets, disable telemetry, this one, this one, this one, yeah. Disable HDCP and this one. So this should be all. And then just click next and then install. And then the install should run and then you will, uh, then you'll just wait, have to wait and until it installs. So, I've already installed it, but after you've installed it, you can right click on your desktop and then go to NVIDIA control panel. This is where you can uh, manage your settings. So, right here you have your settings. So, first go to the first one and just use my preference emphasizing and put that on performance. And then just apply and then go to manage 3D settings. Any stomach filtering, you can turn it on application control if you use it. Uh, it can smoothen up things and stuff, uh, but it isn't like required, but it will provide a smoother video. Uh, and for input latency, it doesn't add much. For uh, anti-aliasing, you can also turn that application control because it doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't like add too much input lag. It just adds more lag if you have a uh, thing. Uh, these settings should also be like for AMD, uh, like close to this. So yeah, uh, low latency mode, keep this off, it's bugged. Uh, don't think, oh my God, it's low latency. No, it's not, it's bad. Um, OpenGL, this one. OpenGL compatibility performance, uh, prefer maximum performance on power mode, um, and then just go down, texture filtering on high performance, fee sync off, and that should be all the things, all those performance -y things. So yeah, after we've done that, we'll go into the optimization pack and then run the tweaks. So for NVIDIA, you will have this NVIDIA profile inspector and these two. I would just just do this one uh, because it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, this one is just good in general. Just drag it in here and it should just import and it should be done. For AMD, you will also have tweaks. Uh, I would recommend the old drivers because this file is 
a little bit. This file has more edits than uh, than thing. Uh, just better performance. But you should also configure it like on your own, uh, because it shouldn't just be like. Because I don't have AMD, so I don't know, really know how it uh, works. But yeah, after you install the drivers, you go to the second one, and then you go to AMD, and then just enable the AMD D words. This will just provide better fluency for the drivers and just make it more snappy. Uh, doesn't do really a lot, but yeah. Uh, you can also do tweaks, which was also back there on the thing. Uh, for your laptop, you can disable all of these things. Uh, I would just disable deep sea states mostly, and maybe uh, maybe control panel settings. Uh, all these settings shouldn't hurt, uh, and yeah, it shouldn't really hurt. For Nvidia, you want to enable all of these. Just like you can just select them all and then press enter, and that just you know. Uh, this does break shadow play. I uh, don't really mind because I don't use shadow play. Uh, yeah. Also, this. Uh, yeah. No. No. That. Yeah. Uh, Silk so smoothness. Uh, you can. You can. You like enable this. Yeah. It doesn't really do much, but yeah. Uh, graphics drivers tweaks you could just enable this you can also revert it if you want to uh, I yeah just put that in so that's for the GPUs now we're going to the tweaks I've put a bunch of tweaks together and yeah so for the browser tweaks if you've installed Chrome you want to do the Chrome tweak and delete Chrome bloatware this will just make Chrome a little bit less uh, this will make it use less things and same for like brave and stuff like just go through these settings like I don't know uh, it's just some browser things it doesn't really matter you don't have to do this this doesn't do much except like maybe a bit of performance so now we're going to the mouse and keyboard um, for the keyboard this is keyboard data queue size and I would recommend trying it at 20 and if that works try to go to 15 if you have a good mouse or something like a Razer mouse for example it should work on 15 it shouldn't like hurt um, and yeah mostly for keyboards you can put this very low because keyboards don't really break that fast uh, for mouse as well just try experiment if it doesn't work and it, after you restart and your like thing breaks, just uh, use your keyboard. Because yeah, do this once at a time. By the way, uh, just restart and, and all over it when like changing this setting because the keyboard things are uh, dependent on how do you call it? Um, like, if you can't use your keyboard and mouse, you're basically screwed because you have to reinstall in your entire Windows. Uh, for Windows tweaks, I put uh, the these here. Uh, these do break some settings, so be aware. Um, let's create it. Let's look at it like this. So this, the BCD edit is basically a edit for the Windows. I never have a problem with this um, you can edit it and just see what it does it removes some values uh, BCD edit doesn't like destroy much but it doesn't like remove all of that much delay uh, but yeah uh, disable the di basic display this is basically you want to disable this after you install your graphics drivers otherwise you are screwed and your display driver won't work and you might have to restart or something. That's why my blue screen of death. A disable game bar presence, that's like useless. Uh, Intel power engine, it also doesn't do much. Uh, Intel PPM doesn't do much as well. Uh, management bias, this breaks GTA 5. So yeah, you, if you play GTA 5, I'm sorry. 
uh, that breaks it. And this one will break your laptop keyboard, so if you have a laptop, just don't do this one. Because otherwise you'll, yeah. Uh, now go to the registry. Also, also you can re-enable them uh, here. If you... If you want to uh, think. So... Now we'll go to registry, um, and these are all the registry tweaks. Uh, the auto run defaults, I'm deleting those because the defaults are, no wait, the defaults should be just in the re-enable thing. Uh, so these are the auto run tweaks, just run those, the disabled DM, DWM, just do that one, and this one as well, disable input surface, last known configuration, I don't know why it's called this, but uh, it does this, if you want to know what it does. Uh, disable map, KVD class, mouse HID, and Windows 32 prioritization on 28 hex, which will provide like smooth a smoother Windows. Now we'll we'll go into the run with nsudo. So for the nsudo thing, you want to. Uh, use like drag it into this uh disable search app i don't know wait no i'm gonna remove this one because i'm sorry this one that one will not work uh it's pointless uh show us experience uh very pointless oh wait you want to open this and then drag it into the end sudo so open this and drag it into end sudo and then do this. And then do this one. And then run. And then it should be done. That should be it. Uh, you can also revert them. I had the sudo re re-enable in there, but I'm gonna put it in the sudo itself because otherwise it's like not as a thing. So I could also add these in a map, I'll do that later, so you guys will have this in a map. So now we'll go into the last thing. This will be the tweaking programs. Um, I don't know why I haven't have... Uh, I don't know why I don't have time resolution. Um, time resolution is a program. I'll put a download in here. Uh, no, wait, I could just... Here, here you go. So, time resolution, you can just drag this onto your desktop or something. Uh, you have to open this every time you boot up your PC because it doesn't like auto uh, start. Uh, this will just reduce time resolution, like, by a lot. Uh, it's, it's a good tool, just minimize it when you're done and it, just leave it there. Um, now we'll go and install MS, no, uh, latency mon because we're gonna do affinities. I mean, I've already installed latency mon, um, but yeah. So this is latency mon. You just don't really care about all of these buttons. You only care about the green button and the red button because yeah, and just this uh, visible thingy. Uh, so basically uh, you want to open the int policy. Uh, that will probably give you an error as well. And yeah, so this is interrupt affinity policy configuration tool. This will do some affinities, uh, which are basically uh, setting your mouse and keyboard on a different CPU core, uh, which will have less interrupts. So you'll, your uh, mouse and keyboard will be more responsive and more just stable throughout the thing. So you want to type in the search bar device manager and just have it here because device manager, it's handy. So you want to, uh, oh, where can you find it? Uh, you want to click on view and then uh, device by connection. Then you, have the PCI Express root complex, just open this, and then you will find a USB host controller. 
this host controller can be anything, uh, but it has to be a USB host controller. You just open the thing and then you see a root hub or something or anything else. And then a USB device. You want to look for the devices because the devices are the most important part. Uh, you want to just look what it is. Uh, so this is a keyboard device as we see, but this also has a pen. So this is my tablet. So we'll not do this one. This is an audio device, so that doesn't matter. This is a keyboard. So this is a keyboard. Uh, so you want to right click on it on the HID mouse because there's only one mouse in one of these USB things. Uh, and then click on details. And then you want to go to the property and then scroll down until you see physical device object name. And then you'll see 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 050. And then you want to go into the interrupt affinity, affinity pool, uh, pool uh, policy and basically search the HID complement mouse with the same dev object name, which is under here. So HID mouse 65, blah, 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 blah. Just search until you see 50 or any number that this shows. So I found 50 and now we'll go to back to latency mon and we'll click on the CPU tab. So the CPU tab, we'll, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the highest DC, DPC execution. Basically this will be like uh, the highest, um, and this will show you the highest thing that usage and we want to score the lowest, like set the things on the lowest because lowest latency. So we see uh, this one and this one are quite low, uh, but we want to keep it on a two, like on the two, four or six or eight or 10, like on a equal number. Like it doesn't, it cannot be on the one or something. Like the zero is always the most usage. So never put something on zero. So we're gonna do the, okay, it just keeps putting them back. We're gonna do it on the six one. So set mask and then CPU five because it counts from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so six and then just okay. Uh, it wants to restart. Um, will not restart instantly because I don't. I want to do more. So that's done. And then we we're gonna look for another one. For example, this one. This is a keyboard device. Uh, I don't know what this is, but this is a thing. Uh, I don't know. This is also a keyboard device. So these are the two keyboard devices. I'm wondering where my mouse is. I feel like this is the keyboard. So we're gonna do the keyboard and then just right click properties, details, and then device, some physical object device name thing. 079, so just H and 079. That's what we're gonna find. Okay, it was here. And then we're gonna set the mask on uh, CPU three, because that's the fourth one. So just set, set it on that one and then just press no, because we're not going to restart and then just done. I wouldn't do this for like all of your things. Uh, you don't want to put multiple things on the same, like same core because you just want to have it on one core for one device. So you can just put one, one and one. So three for me, because I have six cores. If you have four cores, you can do two. Uh, so that's for affinities. Um, basically you just go to device manager, view connection and just
do these settings and this should work very well after restarting um, and yeah it should make your input latency like very stable okay so i forgot one thing in the tweaking thing in the tweak tweaking programs you can find the msi util 3 just open it um, and then locate your graphics card if it's i mean it's only uh, if it's an msi card uh, then it will work uh, if it has a supported MSI mode, then it will work. If the MSI is checked here, don't. If it no, if it's not checked here, do not mess with it at all because that will break your PC. Uh, but look at your graphics card. If it does have the MSI, put the interrupt priority to high. Uh, you can do the same for the USB host. Uh, and if it has the MSI thing, then you can set that to high as well, and then just apply, it, and then that's it. Uh, another thing which can be helpful is River Tuner. I won't go in depth with that. Um, I will, uh, if you guys, no, if you guys like and subscribe, I will make an in depth tutorial with uh, Scanline Sync for River Tuner, which is basically removing the fee sync tear and just creating the smoothest video output for the game without the screen tear because uh, Scanline Sync pushes the screen tear down the screen because the screen has more than uh, something pixels and you can just move it more down and never see the line which will it make you have a very clean screen. So basically if you guys want that like and subscribe and maybe comment on something uh, and yeah so this was my quick tutorial of the input latency guide uh if you guys enjoyed then like and subscribe of course because yeah um and yeah i wish you guys an awesome day and i hope everything goes well if you have any questions uh feel free to join my discord server it's also in the description and see you guys this is yeah this ending i don't know i suck at endings <laughs>